Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rajkumar, Consultant Pulmonologist. Today our topic is going to be how to protect our lungs during winter season. So our body uh, as a protective mechanism, our respiratory tract is uh, lined with a mucous membrane. So whenever we breathe air, so all the pollutants, all the micro particles will be accumulated in the mucous membrane and then gradually bring out uh, through the cough in that sputum. But what happens during the winters, the air as it is dry, so the inside air mem mucous membrane is getting uh, evaporated faster than it is supposed to be replaced. So one thing what it is making is it is making our airway more dry. So which is other way going to irritate our airway. So it is going to act as a pollutant or any other irritant that is going to irritate our respiratory tract. So once our airway is irritated, it is going to inflame and that is going to aggravate your symptoms. The first cause is as the air in the winters is more dry, which is going to evaporate our mucous membrane that will aggravate our symptoms. The second thing as uh, winters tend to be usually more infectious, more common time for everybody to catch with viral infections, which is most commonly flu and other bacterial infections that can also aggravate the wheezing other asthmatic symptoms. The third thing is going to be as a cold air once it reaches our respiratory tract it tend to increase a chemical in our body that is histamine. So that is another way that our, we will be having increased symptoms such as wheeze, cough. And the fourth thing is once the cold winter starts our body as a protective mechanism tend to uh, produce more uh, mucus as, as I told because of the cold air our mucus tend to evaporate faster so as a protective mechanism our body start to produce more mucus and as we breathe in more of dry air that will be dried up faster so what is going to happen is the mucus is becoming thicker and turbid so what it will make is it will make the uh, mucus it's very difficult to come out easily so as a protective mechanism our body tend to start cough these are the four conditions why uh, asthmatics or other chronic lung disease patients such as COPD other fibrotic lung diseases will tend to have more symptoms in the winters so, uh, as we everybody knows that asthmatics are prone to develop more uh, symptoms in the winter season so as we know the uh, causes to be precise cold air so first thing to be taken care about is the air which we breathe in so as we told that winters will have a cold air which is predominantly dry so what to do is we have to uh, try to breathe more as possible through the nose than through the mouth because when we breathe through the mouth the air which is so dry will directly enter into the airways so that will trigger the symptoms so when we breathe through the nose which our uh, nose anatomy is that so that will try to humidify the dry air so we will develop less symptoms. The second thing is we have to cover our mouth and nose when you are going outside so that you know before the air enters into your body that will be warmed up because of the external barrier such as you can use a mask or you can use a muffler also around your mouth and uh, nose. The third thing is to be vaccinated prior. So as we all know, winter seasons are prone for the viral infections such as common flu. So it is advisable for all the chronic lung disease patients or asthmatic, COPD, other fibrotic lung disease patients to be vaccinated before the winter arrives. So these are the three things which we can do as a precaution. And the fourth thing is to hydrate ourselves, to keep hydrate ourselves. So as we can hydrate ourselves, as the fourth point which I have told, that mucus which is becoming thicker so by drinking a lot of fluid we can make the fluid we can make the mucus thinner so that we can avoid that uh, complications so to all the asthmatics the major thing is whoever are on inhalers so it is the right time to start back the inhalers so those who are on regular inhalers prior those who have symptomatically improved and stopped the inhalers so exactly like earlier before the winter arrives it is advisable to start back the inhalers but not by themselves it is always advisable to consult their doctors before the winter season arrives so that precautionary inhalers and rescue inhalers can be prescribed and they have to be very regular on their inhalers so they have to take it as the doctor advice usually in the morning once and then in the evening also and as, as we told flu vaccination should be done and then other precautionary measures as i have advised uh, earlier also so regular inhalers should be started immediately and then avoid cold exposure, keep ourselves warm and keep hydrating and regular flu vaccinations.
by consulting your doctor at the right time and taking medications as prescribed even asthmatics can enjoy the winter thank you